we finished uh, the first episode in quite a while with Cole getting no goals. And I also addressed the issue that was raised in the comment section of some people thinking that Cole is too selfish. I addressed that and I actually was very su pleasantly surprised by the feedback from you guys, especially the ones that do play Pez. Uh, that they agree with me that the AI is just questionably bad in this game and you cannot rely on it um, You cannot trust him with the ball pretty much, but uh, we have the first match in this episode with Bayer Leverkusen and uh, Cole just gotta go just to it's that easy, you know Sometimes it's impossible for us to score, but other times we just have to cut inside like Cole did there It was a beautiful goal uh, to be honest with you and, uh, but it just felt like we had that confidence, you know, where everything can just goes your way. Even there, we Cole tried to set up a Robinho to get some of that Colinho going, but the ball just winds up back to him and he's um, forced into taking a shot. But then Cole uses his strength to keep the ball there really well. He finds Robinho inside the box on mark, and it's 2 0. And it's Cole's assist, and Colinho is in full effect. Here. And then Cole gets subbed like an absolute legend. And yes, I do rem I do notice that he has the captain armband, and I will address that um, after after uh, I show you what happens after the match because we find out some very interesting information after the match. 8.5 match rating for Cole, man of the match. And uh, here it is. So the group stages we are through, and Athletic are as, are as well. But I'm going to show you every team that goes through to the knockout stages. Villarreal, Aceroma, Man United is eliminated. How crazy is that? Then Barcelona, Sharker, and Napoli eliminated. And then PSG and FC Basel. But guess what's coming after this group? Man City, Sporting are also going through. Uh, Milan, of course, this is our group. But then Porto, Ajax. A Juventus eliminated, pretty big surprise. But none as what's going to come. Chelsea, Underleg. And here it is. Real Madrid and Lyon go through, Bayern Munich and Borussia Dortmund eliminated. This Group H was apparently the group of death. I haven't seen so many good teams in one group ever in the Champions League. And uh, Munich and, and uh, Borussia Dortmund not being in the knockout stages is huge, go hugely good news for the other teams. And uh, AC Milan get paired up against uh, Olympique Lyon. So that's who we'll, we will be facing in the Champions League draw in the knockout stages. But um, now that you've seen that, the Group H, that's a crazy group. Have you ever seen anything as crazy as that? But now I can address the armband issue because somebody in the comments was also asking, uh, Shade, how come you didn't, uh, uh, you didn't even mention that Cole, or you didn't even notice rather, that Cole was the captain for the match that, uh, a few episodes ago? And yes, I did notice. And as you can see, he's now wearing the armband this match uh, in the Serie A against Catania, I think that is. Yes, it is Catania. But uh, he was wearing it in the Champions League. So basically, it's not the first time it happens. It happened um, when we were at Ajax and also at Atletico Paranense. What happens is that when the captain is not playing and the vice captain is substituted, I mean, is uh, starts a match as on the bench, um, basically they just let you wear the armband for some reason. And I don't even know if actually Pez keeps um, track of who the vice captain is. So that might not even matter. If the captain is not playing, you, you probably just uh, are going to have the armband. And speaking of that, I have no idea who the actual captain is at AC Milan right now. So maybe it's Montalivo. I'm really not sure, guys. I don't want to. I don't want to uh, say anything that's not true. But uh, Cole Junior, man of the match in this match with Casio Catania, that I have talked nothing about it. But um, and then apparently the transfer window opens and Joe Hart and Ochoa leave the club. I didn't even know we had the Mexican legend Ochoa there, um, let alone that he's on the And why the hell are Milan selling both of their goalkeepers if both of them are really good? Like, I've never seen Ochoa playing. I had no idea he was at Milan. But both of them apparently left the club, and I re I'm really curious to see what happens now. But in this last match against Lazio, Cole gets a beautiful goal there with the finesse shot. And look at that face. Someone in the comments was actually saying that... Uh, that they uh, really wish, or, or they wish that uh, I would change his appearance because his face irritates them. How can you hate that face? That face is perfection. <laughs> he has such a friendly face. I, I, what I really hated was how Cole looked when I started this series, but I gave him a big makeover, and now I think he looks uh, kind of like his old dad, kind of like his old dad, kind of like his um, dad from uh, from last year's Become a Legend. I really like the way Cole looks now, and now uh, I'm really sad that you don't. But um, that's been this episode, 
One thing I didn't mention guys was that Davi Silva of Man City won the best footballer of the year award and Messi was second place, Aguero was third place. Pretty unrealistic top, that would never happen in real life but uh, that's piss for you, they always have these crazy uh, top three. But uh, that's been this episode guys, I really hope you enjoyed and I hope you have a nice day because I don't, I'd never tell you that. But I had a pretty good day today and I wish you have a good day too. And if you had a bad day, I'm here for you. Leave a like if you enjoyed though. I've been Shay. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.